Well, as President Trump waits to see Congress's next move on impeachment, he's trying to make the most of his final 12 days in office, preparing a pardon list, which includes his family members, senior White House officials, loyalists, and two rappers, and possibly even himself. Bloomberg News legal reporter Eric Larson joins me now. Eric, thanks so much for, for being here. Let's start with the pardons. Presidential ones are, are relatively normal, especially at the end of their terms. But why aren't President Trump's normal? Well, Tr President Trump's pardons have been a little different because he's made a bit of a, it's a little theatrical. He, he announces them with a lot of fanfare. And, and there are oftentimes people who are very close uh, admirers of him, people who praise him a lot um, on TV, things like that. And people um, who, who, who frankly are uh, big conservative allies. And they don't usually go through the usual process for pardons. A lot, the president can pardon whoever he wants pretty much. But there is a, a process that goes through the Department of Justice where people are vetted and you know decisions are made uh, or recommended, but he just kind of skips over all that and sort of pardons uh, whoever he wants that will sort of make him feel good on that day. Yeah, as you note in your recent story, um, he's issued 70 pardons and 24 commutations. Some of the pardons include Michael Flynn, Roger Stone, former Republican Congress, uh, two former Republican congressmen who were convicted of a range of financial crimes, Dinesh D'Souza, Rod Blagojevich, financier Michael Milken, former NYPD Commissioner Bernie Kirk. Um, the list goes on and on. Um, it raises the question, who's next? Well, you can see from that list that it's almost tailor-made to infuriate liberals, for one thing. <laughs> um, there's a lot of people on there who people just, their jaw drop. They're like, why? Um, but as far as who's next, it, it could be anyone. As our colleague Jennifer Jacobs reported uh, yesterday, the, there's quite a list being prepared uh, that he apparently wants to announce on his last full day in office, uh, sort of the, the last episode of his reality TV show. And it's going to be... Uh, probably going to surprise a lot of people. Like, we don't know exactly who's on it, but it could be family members, senior White House officials, that sort of thing, and potentially other people included in the Mueller investigation, um, mm -hmm. and, as you said, potentially even himself. Well, yeah, let's talk about that, um, because that is the, the big question I think people are asking themselves right now. Uh, can, the, can the president actually legally pardon himself? Well, it, it's never really been tested before. So the, the answer is no one really knows. He can certainly try. I don't think anyone would be too surprised if he did try at this point. He, he said a few years ago that he believed he had the power to do so. Uh, but it's just never been done before. And if, in fact, there were charges ever to be brought against him, um, that's something that would have to be tested in courts. I, I think the closest we ever got was with uh, President Nixon. He was formally told um, that a president could not pardon himself, but that was just an advisory. That, that wasn't a legal uh, judge's decision. Um, so it really just hasn't been tested. And I don't, again, I don't think anyone would be too surprised if he tried it, but it certainly would be interesting to see that uh, tested in court. Here's the thing, though, Eric, and something that I've thought about a lot with the conversation around the president potentially pardoning himself. Pardons are for convicted criminals. Um, does the idea of him issuing a pardon for himself sort of speak to the fact that he feels as though he's done something wrong or could be prosecuted for doing something wrong? Well, that's usually the general thinking, yeah. But I, I, I think that with President Trump, we've seen that uh, he's sort of pushed back any suggestion that he ever does anything wrong is just fake news. So you could see him declaring that, yes, I'm uh, pardoning myself, which normally would make it seem as though I think I was guilty of something, but it's all just fake news. I didn't do anything wrong, and I don't want the next administration coming after me. So he could definitely find a way to spin it. But again, there's no guarantee that that would actually uh, work in court because it's just never been tried before. I want to end, Eric, with an article that you uh, just wrote, and it's available on the Bloomberg right now. Um, Sidney Powell has been sued by Dominion Voting over um, election fraud claims. Uh, former Trump campaign lawyer Sidney Powell sued for defamation uh, for a whopping $1.3 billion. Um, what are the details here? Well, I'm sure that figure is a little bit aspirational. I, I, I'm not sure... Uh, how much money she has actually raised. But, uh, you know, she has been a thorn in, in the side of Dominion for uh, quite some time now, making very serious allegations um, against the company. And the company has mostly sat by sort of quietly issuing statements and now more recently cease and desist letters. But it waited to do a lot of those things until after the election. So now that the election is over, I think D uh, Dominion is trying to do some damage control here. Um, there's been serious uh, damage to its reputation. I think that's pretty clear. Yeah. Um, employees have been getting death threats, things like that. And she really did place this company at the center of a very wild and bizarre conspiracy that if she wants to 
uh, survive this lawsuit, she's going to have to prove that that's true, that what she said was true. That's going to be the easiest way for her to get out of this case. And it's pretty difficult to imagine that she'll be able to do that. Wow. Bloomberg's Eric Larson. Uh, Eric, thanks for your time this Friday morning. Um, hope you have a restful weekend after such a big week. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.